Should I get divorced here or back home? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. In today's video, we're talking about divorce decrees and specifically the U.S. government's rejection of certain divorce decrees. We have seen a surge in problems with divorce decrees. Used to be you'd get a divorce decree from the old country, no problem. You know, it needed to be translated, but other than that, it was almost always accepted by USCIS or by the State Department. But there has been a big problem in some countries lately, specifically Nigeria and Ghana, but the principle applies to all divorce decrees. And we're talking about situations in which someone is married back home and needs to get divorced, either to somebody back home, which is most of the time, but sometimes we've had people ask us this question, when both parties are in the United States. They think, well, we got married back home, so we have to get divorced back home. That is not true. A U.S. court has the authority to uh, enforce a divorce for someone who's physically in front of them, who's physically in their jurisdiction. So if a U.S. citizen is here, I'm sorry, if an immigrant is here in the jurisdiction and their spouse is back home, a U.S. court can issue a divorce. Now, there are certain hurdles that you have to go through because the person back home has to receive notice of the pending divorce decree. Typically, that's done through personal service, and that can be tricky. It can involve uh, the laws back home, the laws in the state in which you're getting divorced, but basically, you're going to have to make your best efforts to provide notice of the spouse back home of you getting divorced and you're not going to be able to get the divorce judgment until you can show that you've notified the spouse back home. Now, if you can't find them or can't locate them, there are usually procedures in most state courts to allow you to provide notice by publication. In other words, you take an ad in a legal newspaper and say, hey, my name is Joe Blow, and I'm filing for divorce from Mary Blow, and this divorce is pending in the circuit court for St. Louis County, Missouri, and it'll have the case number and it'll have a deadline by which Mary, who's back home, has to uh, respond. Now, this is typically a legal fiction. Most likely, Mary's not checking out the legal newspapers in St. Louis County, Missouri, but that is sufficient notice by publication to allow the divorce to proceed. So U.S. courts can issue a divorce and you're always going to want to take an American divorce over a divorce back home. There'll never be a question if you get a divorce from a court in any of the 50 states that that divorce is valid. But we do see time and time again that USCIS or the State Department rejects the divorce decrees from back home and therefore causing lots of problems. It might mean that you're not free to marry, that the I-130 that you filed with your American spouse wasn't valid because if you're still legally married back home or still legally married at all, then you're not free to marry the person that's now sponsoring you for an I-130. That's really where we see this come up. But divorce decrees can cause problems in all kinds of cases. They can go back for citizenship and look. Sometimes you might be applying for asylum or you might be applying for some other benefit and you need to demonstrate that you are in fact legally divorced. Your best bet, get divorced in the county in which you live in the United States. Try to get personal service on your spouse back home, and if not, try to publish a notice in the legal newspaper that the divorce is pending. Your family law attorney should be able to help you with this. It's not really an immigration issue. I'm just telling you from the perspective of the U.S. federal government, whether it's the State Department or USCIS, it's going to be much messier to try to rely on a divorce decree from back home that may or may not be valid, that needs to be translated. If you have a divorce from Tennessee or California or Oregon, it's going to be much easier to get the federal government to accept that divorce as real. Hope you found this helpful. If you are wanting to sponsor someone or to get started with the marriage-based green card or immigrant visa process, and you would like our law firm to help you, we would love to work with you. You can call us at 314-961-8200, or you can email us info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. If you're just looking for free resources, that's totally cool. We have our TikTok channel, at Immigration Hacking. Don't look at the fakes. There's a bunch of fake accounts on TikTok right now trying to copy me because we've gotten up to almost 130,000 followers. 
Uh, we also have our YouTube channel. You can subscribe to the channel uh, whenever you want. And when I make a new video, you'll get alerted if you hit the alarm button. Also, we have our Immigration Answer Show, which we do on that YouTube channel and in our free Immigrant Home Facebook group. We'd love to have you join us in the Facebook group. We have thousands of members of people talking about the immigration process every day. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.